Folks, we are here at the first World Predator Hunting Expo, and we've got the honor of the of having and interviewing the first, well, not the first, been 40 years since we had a world champ before, but we've got John Paul Moody, who is the current champ. He won it today. I was fortunate enough to be one of the judges and can tell you firsthand that this man knows how to call critters. John, congratulations from everybody. You've got a, a great title. How'd you get started? When did your calling interest begin? Man, I've been calling for, for a long time, just like you said, but it just came from a passion of hunting. You know, I just want to be a better hunter, and, and to be a better hunter, I think you need to be a better caller, you know? So now I'll just practice and, and practice and try to sound as much like an animal as I possibly can. Well, that was the key. I heard five excellent callers on that stage, and you could tell that everyone up there including yourself and most of yourself had spent a lot of time listening to animals you did a superb job when did you uh get involved in predator hunting oh, we've been predator hunting about seven years now off and on and really gotten into it pretty seriously the last five years so for the last five years back home in tennessee you've been you've been working predators where did you hear the sounds that you've learned to replicate where did you listen to the sounds that you obviously copied extremely well well, you know, a lot of it comes from sound bites you find on the internet, you know, M the MP3 sound bites and stuff. Spend a lot of time listening to those things. The Fox Pro sounds, um, I listen to those a lot. Uh, the Hunter Specialties, uh, Johnny Stewart stuff, you know, I listen to those sounds. Because a lot of those are live animals making those sounds. I just try to reproduce those. And also, you know, I spend a lot of time, anytime I hear a, a pack of coyotes crank up and start yipping and howling and barking stuff, I'll, I'll stop what I'm doing, you know, and try to, to key in on some sounds and listen to, to the actual live animals if I can. Well, you've obviously got the ability to hear the nuances and duplicate the subtleties that uh, you really have to hear in the wild to be able to duplicate. You know, you did an extremely good job. You spent a lot of time hunting back home in Tennessee. I hunt, you know, I hunt quite a bit in the mornings if I get a chance. Uh, uh, you know, we don't hunt every day or anything like that. I got a job to do, but um, we do hunt, you know, quite a bit. We hunt our share. So. Do you hunt when you hunt coyotes? What's your what's the primary sound you use to, to score in coyotes? Our favorite sound is the cottontail in distress. We key in on those that coyote's weakness, which we believe is his stomach. Um, and if a coyote's hungry, if he had not eaten in a while, he hears that coyote in distress, he's going to come to that call. And that's what we want to imitate as much as we can is that distress sound of a, of a, of a cottontail rabbit um, or a rodent, small rodent of some kind, a field rat, a mouse, a bowl, something like that. But we don't use a whole lot of coyote vocalization sounds to call coyotes in where we're at. Um, it works, I'm sure, but we just we just key in on that on that empty stomach of that coyote. That's You'd say a, press, a, a rabbit distress, distress sound is your is your primary go, go to fallback call? That's okay. exactly right. But what was your uh, personal preference for your best call? Which one did you use? I used the cottontail in distress, just went back to the to the roots, you know, where we, where we call, use and call from all the time is that cottontail in distress, and that's just what I use. How about showing us this call you're wearing around your neck and telling us a little bit about the call you used to win the world? Uh, these are calls that we make, my partner and I. This is called the Deceiver. Um, it says, Be not deceived. That's a scripture verse from Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. And um, that we have the Deceiver double read and the, also the Deceiver single read. And I was using the single read this morning to make those, those cottontail sounds. And you can squelch it off and make some rodent sounds as well. Did you use the single read for all of the sounds you made? Actually, no. I, I tuned, um, tuned one of my single reads to make a deer sound. And uh, also uh, for the cottontail and the jackrabbit, if we would have had to do a jackrabbit, they didn't draw a jackrabbit. That was one of the options where we, we may have had to do it, but they didn't draw that from the, from the list of different sounds. I would have used our call for the jackrabbit as well, but uh, I used it for the, for the deer and the cottontail sounds. I noticed these are both closed read calls. Do you prefer a closed read call? Um, I use both, uh, but last couple of years we've been using strictly this call right here um, you can get all kinds of different sounds by squelching the tone chamber off of it a little bit and you can um, put some emotion into it I, I like the single I mean the close read style calls okay well one of the calls you had to make this morning was a fawn in distress how about cranking that up and running a fawn in distress for it
you also had to do a lone howl. How about let's give our listeners a chance to listen to the lone howl that won the uh, that won the world. And this one you switched to a mouth to a mouth diaphragm. Okay. That's one thing that no one else is doing. I thought I'd give it a try. Give that a mouth diaphragm a call. That was wonderfully done. Top Paul, I really want to congratulate you. You did a tremendous job, and uh, thank the Lord, you did a wonderful, wonderful job, and, and look forward to seeing you defend your title next year. Is there anything you want to yes, tell? Sir. Yes, sir. I just, I, that's what I'd like to say is I just want to praise the Lord for giving me those ears you were talking about, because I think that definitely comes from, you know, you're born with that ability to hear those sounds and be able to reproduce them, and that comes from, from God. Thank Him for that. And uh, one of my scripture verses I was leaning on this week was Colossians 3.23. It says, Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. And that's what this is all about, just giving Him the glory. So, amen. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.